Uh, hey dude bros, what's up, uh, dudettes too. Um, how do you like the new format? Pretty nice, huh? Uh, been working the past few days. Um, got some free time. Just have to make a little short video. Uh, last video was a complete troll. I, I wasn't serious when I made that. Um, I'm just trying new things. And, uh, I may push the envelope a little too much with some things. Um, I've been called weird. I guess I'm weird. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be like a vlog or something. Um, what I want to do, I've, uh, gotten really comfortable with using Windows 10 now, and before that it was Windows 8.1. I've got Windows 8.1 on my laptop, and it's, uh, um, my PC and my laptop are very optimized. They're very optimized and they're very secure. So, uh, yeah. And I've gotten real comfortable with, uh, Windows 10 and Windows in general. And, but, uh, I'm thinking of uh, getting a Chrome box. Uh, I've, I've looked into the whole Chrome box thing instead of a Chrome book. I was going to get a Chrome book. Uh, I know a lot about the Chrome OS. Uh, I even helped make it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. All Chrome OS is is just a fancy version of Chrome browser, really. But it's got uh, well, it's got Linux under the hood. They call it under the hood. Like it's it's uh, it's a real OS. It's just no more an OS than saying Chrome is an OS. It's it is an operating system, really. Um, the, the Chrome browser on Windows is really an operating system. Get all this. I mean, basically, yeah. If you look at the uh, um, everything that's in Chrome, it's a little tiny operating system. Um, what was what was I gonna do? I was gonna. Um, I got a lot going on right now. A lot of, a lot of things I gotta deal with. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do was do a, a, a professional as possible review of uh, SteamOS. I, I used SteamOS for a while and I enjoyed that. But it had a lot of flaws. Well, it had a few major flaws that I was going to point out. Um, one thing is the Linux that it uses Debian Wheezy, which is really good. Um, they kind of lock you out of the whole operating system. The, like the follow manager and everything the uh, permissions are all messed up and but they do that on purpose I think and uh, that um, it's because they wanted to make it they want to make steam OS easy to use you know, kind of dummy proof which it is I used it it was really really easy to use but uh, if you want to install extra programs like I did all you got to do is um, Use the fetcher that it has, the uh, file manager has, to uh, look up. All you do is you can uh, you can create your own file extensions and just use the file manager, the fetcher, to uh, look for programs. I mean, look for new programs to open file extensions. And that's you, um, that's the only real way I found to uh, add programs to the Weezy. Debian Wheezy that uh, SteamOS uses, but uh, SteamOS, the version I use like 1.0, and then I switched to like uh, 2.0. It was it was the older ones. There's there's about two or three newer ones that have been released, but uh, it, they claim it's only for certain hardware, and it's. What I have is an ITX PC. It could be easily be like a really good Steambox. 
And I could use it like that, but um, and I, I could, and wouldn't it wouldn't matter to me. I don't dislike SteamOS. I kind of enjoyed it, um, cause I did game on OpenSUSE Linux, the yeah, 13.1, and all the way back to 12.3. I used Steam, and it was a good experience. Um, the uh, as long as you know what you're doing. Open source are a little different. It's, um, like sometimes, K if you're gonna game on Open source, I would recommend using KDE, not not um, no desktop environment. No desktop environment with a kit with a Open source is, is a nightmare. I'm not trying to bash no or what's it called Gino, no. Uh, but uh, I personally don't like that desktop uh, environment. I've used it before, and the only well, okay, the only implementation of it that I enjoy is SteamOS. It did. SteamOS has it. Uh, SteamOS uses the Gnome or the GNOME desktop. The SteamOS is uh you go to this what is there, a repository, you can download it, you put it, you burn it to disk, it's like uh, over a gig. Like a uh, Linux. But uh there's no way to install it while on Windows. I tried that on all all my Windows versions, like one, ten But I will try to do a review of SteamOS, but uh, I would need to use it more. I used I used it for maybe a month. When did I use it? Maybe a few weeks, a couple weeks, not not very long. So I would need to use it longer to uh, do an official review of SteamOS. But that's something I wanted to do. Was SteamOS? I know. There's a lot of Linux, but for now, gaming is the thing. But uh, that might not stay. It may not stay that way for me. I'm uh, kind of split between two things. I just um, using my PC as an all-out media center slash just you know general use like browsing, you know, listen to music, watch movies, um, play like Chrome games, nothing big or anything so that's why I'm considering getting a chrome box so um, the only one I like is a Lenovo Think Center and it's not really a like the other chrome boxes the other chrome boxes are like like Roku's <laughs> they're just like these small PCs as many ITX PCs that run Chrome OS and uh, the those that are like that would make good living on PCs, but, um, uh, the Think Center is more, it, you could set it up like a little mini PC, it looks like, uh, like a router, <laughs> it looks like a little route, like a big router or a little router, and it's from Lenovo, and the only reason I want to get it is because it has four USB 3.0s, and the other ones I saw, the Dells and the, uh, Asus, and, HP, they only had about like maybe two. I care more about ports than I do anything else. It doesn't matter what. I, I like uh, like uh, I was gonna replace this MI2 case that I have that I built this PC with with the uh, X2 case from MSI because it has nothing but USB 3.1 ports. It's got a lot of. And, uh, that's what I care about the PC or a device. I'll care about the uh, connectivity, the uh, inputs, the uh, I care about USBs. Um, just, I like to uh, put things up to my device. You know, that's what I care about. And uh, of course, I care about performance too. But uh, 
the main selling point for me is definitely connectivity. Of, and I'm looking for USB 3.0s, so I'm just looking for um, micro SD. If it has that, like uh, maybe a shield or a phone. Well, I don't really like phones. I don't use a phone. I just use Skype. But, uh, I'm thinking of actually using Google services um, instead of using OneDrive, which I've been using. But they have this stupid rule where you can't use PayPal. <laughs> and I know everybody doesn't like PayPal for uh, reasons, ethical reasons, actually. But, um, that's all I can use right now. So, I, I got. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna use Google Maybe Good God, I want uh, Google Drive. Sorry. I'm gonna work this But, uh, just wanna apologize if that video I made offended anybody. It was just a troll. Uh, I wasn't serious in that video. Uh, that day, I was having a bad day, but, uh, I just needed to liven, liven things up a bit. Uh, I won't make another video like that. And if it bothers people too much, I'll take it down. It's no problem. <coughs> <coughs> I had to take down one video, put a, make it private. Uh, I used uh, too many uh, songs and it said blocked. You can't do this, Scotty. You can't use that many damn songs in your video. What's wrong with you? You're pushing it too far, man. Come on, bro. Dude, bro, what? Come on. Okay. Anyway. I love this format. I like it better. Hope you all like it too. I just don't keep my PC, I mean, just get to the point where gaming is, I love it, I really do, it's just, um, as time goes by, I just get so, I get less interested in it, I, mean, I play games, but, I don't know, I was honest in that video, I, I really, I am disenfranchised with gaming, as I call it, I'm just, I love PC so much, but the whole gaming thing is just, I'm just burning out on it. And I've never really been a hardcore gamer, really. I just, I just I, I've never really played games, committed to gaming in any form or fashion, really. I just play casually. Uh, I don't want to admit that, but it's true. And uh, there's been times, certain games I've, I've picked up where I'm you know, more than casual, but I'm not trying to sound, I don't know, I'm not really a gamer to begin with, I just like getting you know, one of those games on Steam. That's all I got to say about that. I don't, I don't know how to elaborate further on it. On it. It's just personal for me. Got nothing against gaming. I, I enjoy watching game uh, game related videos on YouTube still. Like uh, on my feed, whenever I you know before I wipe it, delete the watch history. Cause Google, YouTube likes to uh, assume shit, you know. And the feed just gets weird. But that's my fault. But, uh, I've gotten more like using Cody a lot on my right screen here. Just to put one screen to Cody. Middle screen, main screen. It's got the DVI on the middle. And those side screens have uh, VGA, so I just use those as extra screens. And I just game on the middle screen. My brother recommended doing that, so. Big ups to him for doing that. 
Otherwise, I would have just gave one all three. Mm. Might have worked out. But, uh, so I'm thinking about getting a chrome box, maybe, as a, either a main device or extra device. Just a, just a, just a chrome PC, really. Uh, I, it's not as good as a chrome book, but it's better in the sense of uh, what I care about. Like I said, the USB 3.0s. I need those. You know, I don't really need those for mouse and keyboard, but whatever. And this state center, from what I will, is not a good living room alternative, but if you want a living room, get the, uh, the broken looking ones. The other ones. For that. Uh, and they're cheap. They're dirt. <laughs> they're, they're dirt cheap. That's why I like them. <sighs> of course, Chrome OS is... Uh, you don't need hardcore hardware to run it. It's not exactly legacy or software, but it's uh, it's very light. You know, people you throw that word around a lot. Light, light software. Well, and they just use tricks. I don't know what they do. <laughs> it's just like they use Centrinos and uh, I3s, uh, like two gigs of DDR3L or even DDR3 or high RAM would be about like four gigs of DDR3L I guess and that's like you know the big higher end stuff you know as and, and if you look if you put that in the PC it'd be like nah <laughs> you know I'm not trying to down people that you know have those specs but do like already did I'm just saying Chrome OS is, you don't need a, a lot of hardware to run it. But it's proprietary, so that's a downer. If it was a proprietary, a lot of people, a lot more people would be running it. And uh, in my opinion, it's not a genuine Linux, uh, but it is Linux. It's weird. But yeah, there's some thoughts in the future, maybe. Um, review Chrome OS on, not Chrome OS, well, maybe Chrome OS. Steam OS for sure. Uh, if I use it, that is. Only if I use it. And, uh, oh, Sam. What's up, buddy? Sam. Come here. few things planned here and there. Nothing big, really. Uh, here's all this stuff. But, uh, I'm gonna let this video go over uh, 20 minutes. I know that even that's ridiculous, but still. we talking for 20 minutes. I'll try to use my laptop more often. It's really nice. It doesn't have a dedicated GPU, but I try to play games like Fable Lost Chapters, uh, some other games, a lot of other games, but lo fi games. They work, but barely. If you want that uh, good performance from a 
iGPU from Intel. Get the at least the Intel HT4000 up. Yeah, definitely. And it's gone for 20 minutes. Okay. Well, we're gonna end this. So, so you. Yeah.